Okay, this is going to be a little different than my typical YouTube video. So this post today will be more of a news break rather than a silver adventure story. It's still part of my adventures, but this video is for people who are interested in light sport or experimental aviation, single seat sport plane. I was walking around uh, the day before the show opens and I happened to walk by a really cool airplane on display that I'd never seen before. And I just read a little blurb about it on Facebook the night before. So, so check it out. I'm here with Alan at Spirit Engineering, and uh, the show isn't even opened yet. Alan was nice enough to come out and talk to me. Uh, thank you, Alan. This plane isn't even named yet, and I just heard about it last night by chance on Facebook, and I thought I'd bring it to you. Alan, maybe you could tell me really quick uh, just what you told me when you walked up about it. Sure. Well, this is the Spirit SE1 right now until we have a better name. We're crowdsourcing a name as we go through the, the show. This is a special light sport aircraft built in Grand Junction, Colorado. It's a uh, single seat, all aluminum, all metal, real aircraft, solid rivets, a very traditional design, modern construction, um, and it's a very affordable airplane. Will it be a kit or will it be uh, built already? It will be built already, fully built, ready to fly SLSA, or you can convert it to ELSA if that's what you choose to do. Okay. But yes, ready to fly. So quick specs. What can you say about the performance? It's uh, We have our own engine that designed and built by Spirit Engineering. It's a 42 horsepower engine that gets us uh, 100 miles an hour cruise on two gallons per hour. So oh very God. affordable. Let me interrupt here for a second, just to talk a little bit about the motor of this plane. It's a four stroke, two cylinder, horizontally opposed V. I've been told it sounds like a Harley Davidson, which would be way cool. It's an aviation engine completely engineered and built by Spirit Engineering for use specifically in this plane. They will manufacture and produce all the parts for this engine to support the buyers of this plane. Yeah, that is so cool. And does it use a uh, Avgas or can you use can automotive? Can use Avgas, built for 91 uh, unleaded, no ethanol auto gas. Okay. But you can run it. When we flew it out, we flew four of them out here from Western Colorado for the show. Um, they all uh, filled up with Avgas along the way. Okay. Totally fine. All right, uh, you're gonna learn a lot more about this. There's gonna be a lot of stuff coming out at Oshkosh as you guys get the word out. Indeed. You told me, Alan, I, I thought this was a brand new aircraft. Uh, well, <clears throat> it was very important to the owner and founder that we not come out with an airplane that was just an idea. This is actually built. We flew four of them, uh, as I said, from Western Colorado. We've got 20 in the production line that are ready to go. Wow. It's a certified SLSA, ready to fly. I'll bet you get them all sold by the end of the week. Well, that could be. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, thank you very much, Alan. You bet. Really appreciate the time. Once our website is public and I know how to get to it, I'll make sure and put it in the comment section below. Hopefully Spirit Engineering will be looking at the comments here, so make sure to provide some comments and uh, look forward to hearing what you think about this cool new sport plane. That wraps it up. I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, quick news break on the Spirit Engineering's SE1 plane. I can't wait to see it perform. So that'll wrap up this news breaking edition of uh, Silver Adventures. If I have any more cool updates from Oshkosh, I'll be sure and, and post them. And I do plan to do a trip video uh, documenting my trip uh, to and from Oshkosh. So stay tuned to Silver Adventures and subscribe to make sure that you get notified when new videos get posted. Thanks for supporting my channel. See you later.